The following segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Oh, we know the height of inversion season is upon us, and that can occasionally mean poor air quality for all of us and our children. What can we do to protect our kids? We have the answer lady here, Brittany, Gu Brittany Guerra from the Utah Asthma Program to talk yes. a little bit about, I mean, we've had some times where a recess should be canceled. They should stay indoors. Right, so we have a set of recommendations called the recess guidance that we provide to all schools. And schools really appreciate having um, some guidance to base when to move recess indoors mm -hmm. when air quality is poor. Um, and so that recommendation is out there and we recommend people follow it if possible. So parents who have kids with asthma, how can they follow all of this and then like just in the morning say hey make sure you check or whatever don't go outside yeah we recommend that everybody just be aware of the air quality in your area and air.utah.gov provided by the Utah Department of Environmental Quality um, gives you an opportunity to check air quality by mm -hmm. county and that allows you to kind of see what the air quality is in your area um, being aware of that and if you have symptoms because everybody is a little has some sensitivity to air quality and it's different for everybody um, yeah, I mean some of us might just get a little scratchy but if you have asthma it can cause big problems that can be a trigger for an asthma attack yeah. right and so we recommend that if you or your child have asthma that you really be aware of the air quality in your area if that's a trigger for asthma take your medications as prescribed and make sure to talk with your school about when they should definitely make sure to keep your child in from recess. Now, uh, some schools have different rules for inhalers, right? Uh, yeah, there is a state law uh, that allows kids who have an asthma action plan and a signed form from the doctor to self-administer mm -hmm. their inhaler at school, and we definitely recommend that every parent with a child with asthma check that form out, talk about the form with their providers, and make sure that's on file at the school. Okay, there's a lot of help available, right? Yes, yes. And those guidelines are great for parents, teachers, and schools. Yes. Okay, thanks so much, Brittany. Thank you. And we always have our UCARE site, right, Chase? 